table for two, table for two, having fun, playing games, just me and you. Welcome to the Table for Two show. I am Jane. And I am Phil. And how are you all doing out there? We're going a little batty. A little bit, a little bit nutty. And you would think we'd play more games. Yeah. <laughs> We're just too tired. We're like, can I watch TV? All right. I'm going to lay on the couch. Yeah. Yesterday was a pajama day. How many of you out there have had a pajama day? Mm-hmm. You know what we're talking about right below. Yeah. It's kind of a fun day, but then at the end of the day, you're like, somebody needs a shower. <laughs> I just got out of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> still I, I, I took a shower just for the show today, just so you all know. But uh, yeah, yesterday was a pajama day, and I just I went to bed kind of going, hmm, I yeah. should have took a shower today. Mm-hmm. Big accomplished day. <laughs> Ooh, yay. Um, so anyway, we hope you guys are all well out there and staying strong. Uh, we are doing our best to do the same. Yep. Um, what we decided to do, however, I mean, typically for our show, we try to pick something, you know, a game that's unique or different, um, you know, something that's out there that's new. But we decided to go a different direction the next couple of months, depending on how long, uh, you know, staying at home thing stays at home. Mm-hmm. Um, we went up to our upstairs closet. Yes. Ooh, that sounds kind of scary. We went to the upstairs closet. Yep. Instead of going to the store or Amazon or anything like that. Yeah. So so we have probably close, and just I'm sure a lot of you out there have the same situation if you're really big gamers, we have probably close to 100 games in a closet upstairs. All the mm-hmm. games we've played are downstairs. It sounds kind of weird. We have this little, little thing yeah. we do. Um, that we decided, you know what, we're going to go in that closet, even if the game is older, and we're going to pull it out because we haven't played it yet. Mm-hmm. And we're going to show it to you guys. Um, so some of these games you may know already. Some of them you may not. Yep. And that's even better. But what we will absolutely do each week is make sure that that game is still available. Whether it be on Amazon yep. or maybe your local game store still has it. If they're doing curbside for some reason, that's good. Um, so anyway, so we, we've made sure these games are still available to buy. So it's not like just a tease yep. to do that. But before we get into today's game, we found a new liquor. <laughs> yes. First of all, let me show you my... We have glasses that actually say Baileys on them. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I think I have Christmas. Somebody gave us one of those Christmas gifts with like the glasses and the Baileys. But we actually found this at the local grocery store, mm-hmm. believe it or not. Yes, which is still open. Because <laughs> we're not really going a lot, very, very far. We go to Costco, yeah. we go to the grocery store. That's like our big thing. And on my birthday, by the way, for those of you who said happy birthday to me, mm-hmm. thank you very much. Uh, for those who didn't say happy birthday to me, pff, just kidding. <laughs> That's not for people who watch the show. It's not um, like they had something better to do. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously. Um, but that's another story for another day. Um, what's interesting is um, on my birthday, we actually did curbside to one of my favorite restaurants. Not mm-hmm. just a McDonald's or a Burger King. We went to a Thai place, which I absolutely love, and they had yeah. curbside. And we got it home, and it was so good. Mm, Penang curry was good. <gasps> and I had musaman curry, and it was mm-hmm. just fabulous. And I think we may do that even more so yeah. uh, than we have been. Anyway, so who cares? For my birthday, I decided we we're going to drink... It was two days later. Bailey's, but it's scrumptious, salted, and how would you say that? Salted caramel. I say caramel. We say, sometimes we say I either say caramel or caramel. Scrumptious, salted caramel Bailey's. And it's, yeah, mm. I have hand cream on. <laughs> I wonder why. I don't. Well, now I do because it's on the... <laughs> I wonder why I have hand cream on. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Everybody in the world is slipping around. Uh, too much hand cream. Okay, so let's see how this looks. Mm-hmm. I'll smell Ooh. the cork. <laughs> well, it looks like regular belly so far, which obviously it should. Okay. Okay. I'll be careful. Oh my too. god, it smells like dessert. Mm. Here we go. Wait, wait till you get some of that. I'll taste at the same time. I don't want to get too crazy here. Why not? Where are we going? <laughs> That's true. Driving anywhere? Well, you never know if we have to reach you. We could walk show. somewhere. <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh man. Ooh, that smooth. That's like. Hot fudge, not hot fudge, it sounds like a bit. Caramel sundae. It kind of reminds me of, we get the uh, oh, so uh, uh, the salted uh, caramel chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's something don't spill about it. that crunchy Again. sea salt that's so good. Oh, my gosh. That mm. is so good. Okay. Well, that's, that's not good, though. How many calories is this? Never mind. Don't want to know. <laughs> okay. If suddenly you see a cut and these glasses are empty, you know what happened. <laughs> okay, that's good. Charlie, you want some? Mm-mm. You want some salted caramel? Come on. <laughs> Not for She's cats. looking at the bottle, but she's not coming over. <laughs> yeah. She might come over. We, we let her have free reign today. Yep. All right. Phil, what are we looking at today? Well, today we are looking at Chicago Express. Did you? Yes, from We should have wore our... We had those hats oh, from like the first hats. season, the conductor hats. Ah, oh, who cares? Nobody oh well. cares about their hats. <laughs> I might start wearing a wig soon, though, because yes. the gray hairs are coming out. 
So Chicago, uh, Chicago Express, obviously locomotive. So it's not like a 20th century kind of game. It's no. older, but so. it's, it's two to six players, so yes. you can have a whole lot of friends. Again, yep. when this whole thing go, goes over, yep, um, takes about it takes about an hour. It took us a little longer, maybe because we yeah. were first learning it. Yep. Um, but we we do love train games. Just mm-hmm. to be fair, and Turtles trying to drink my drink, give him my drink. <laughs> We love train games, and we also love Chicago, since we live in kind of Chicago land. We don't actually live in the city. Yeah. Close enough, like 30 30 minutes, 30, Mm -hmm. 40 minutes away. Um, But anyway, so that's why we bought this game originally. We never played it. It was just sitting in that closet upstairs. So we took it out. We took it apart. We uh, looked at it. Now, here's the funny part about this, though, direction-wise. I think I said this in a couple games ago. I'm not sure which game it was. When I first saw the directions when I took out the package, I was like... Oh my god! Oh no! It's one of those train games. It's, oh, I'm thinking this is going to take us a year to learn, and then by the time we learn it, and we're gonna... so anyway, long story short, it's in seven languages, mm-hmm. <laughs> including this one language. Yeah. Is, this is German, <laughs> um, I think, because it's made in Germany. Um, so they put the special one in German here, which we still can't read. Um, and then we have like six dots in Spanish. And yeah. Then, uh, Italiano and all Thank goodness for lots of languages. Yeah, so good news is only about nine pages. Is yeah. the, actually, eight, eight pages was the direction. So that's, I felt mm-hmm. so much better. I was like, oh, phew. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan. I know some people out there probably are a big fan of love. They love to read big rule books and get really into it. And I'm like, you know, I don't yeah. have time for that. And lots of tiny little exception type rules yeah. and stuff like that. I have time for Bailey's. Then. <laughs> oh, my God. But, mm. um, this is really like candy. Yeah, it oh. really is. If I can, like drink like one glass of Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I have to get, yeah. All right. So, Chicago Express, cool, really, first of all, good game. We were, actually, anything Queen Games typically yeah. makes is pretty good. Very well, a good quality game. Mm-hmm. But the goal is to have the most money at the end of yeah. the game. And it's got the little monies in here. Yeah. They're, they're in denominations of ones, fives, and 25s. Yeah. So, interesting. Uh, yeah, well, that's a little interesting. Factors of five. You had to make yeah. a lot of change as you were. <laughs> Working the game, but with two players, uh, each player starts with sixty bucks. Mm-hmm. That's how you start the game off. Um, and then there's, um, I'm going to show you. you Want to hold the board, maybe? And yes. Kind of hard. I love these boards that have to split. Them. I will. Like you might this. have to hold it up. So basically, this is us in the United <laughs> States, but it starts in New York over here, and it ends up over here in Chicago. Mm-hmm. So it's basically this part of the United States right here. Yeah, it only goes down to Virginia. So. Yeah, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't go too far. But the whole goal is there's um, different rail lines, and you're trying to get from the different rail line start points mm-hmm. to Chicago. Ta-da! Yep. That's you have to do. And along the way, you make money and dividends and stocks, yeah. and we'll explain that in just a minute. But oh, yeah. wait, by the way, on the board itself, you can see there's the uh, Wabash Railroad Company. That one doesn't actually start working, for a better word, until somebody gets over to Chicago. Yeah. And then this one comes alive. Yeah, you can see Wabash over here yeah, in the Wabash middle of Indiana, Indiana somewhere. Um, and then really quick, there's a little, uh, for better meters down here. Uh, for the <laughs> Whee! Which, yeah, when Whee! the board's laying flat, they work Yay! fine. <laughs> um, that, that, uh, explain, we'll explain how these work in a minute, but the mm-hmm. point is when they get to this red zone here, you go to what's called a dividend phase, which is really important to understand. These are very important during the game. Yes. But we'll explain this as we go along. Mm-hmm. Basically, you're on a board of, uh, and there's plains, and there's forest. Forest? Yes. And there's mountains, and there's industries, and there's, res- you know, there's cities, all sorts of cities and, yeah. and all sorts of things on the board. So yeah. it's kind of neat. Um, so anyway, there's a bunch of different, so we talk about Wabash. Mm-hmm. And then, so it comes with a bunch of train tokens for Wabash. And then a little <laughs> meter for the income. We'll explain those in a minute. Yeah. Then you have Blue, which is Baltimore, mm-hmm. no company. Yep. And then you have Green, which is New York. Baltimore and Ohio. New York Central. New York Central. I like New York Central. Mm-hmm. Love to New York. Um, and then we have the yellow one, which is Washington, D- oh, that's Washington D.C. Uh, yeah, it's D.C. Yeah. This here's Virginia. So we have Washington, D.C. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's not up there. Yeah. That'd be Washington over there. And then we've got Philadelphia. I used to live in Philadelphia, so I've never... Love for Philadelphia, mm-hmm. but there's all these different railroads yep. um, that you're trying to build across the country. Now the thing is, we, for, when I first set up the game, I'm thinking, okay, who's going to get red? Who's going to get green? That's not how it's played. Yeah, you're both playing all of them. It's a, it, it's an interesting dynamic. You you can own a train line, but you can lose ownership of a train line. Yeah. So, so there's basically know. for each one of the railroads, mm-hmm. there are stock certificates. Yeah. In the different colors, red, yellow, green, black, and, and blue. Black and blue. Black and blue. <laughs> um, at the very beginning of the game, first of all, we get 60 bucks each, like I mentioned. Mm-hmm. But there's like an auction, the very beginning of the game. Yeah. And you're basically auctioning, auctioning off one stock certificate for each of the colors, except for the Wabash. Yeah. 
and you start off your auction with a specific amount, like for example, red starts at $7, uh, that's Philadelphia. And um, so the first player would say, okay, I'm going to bid seven. And then Phil goes, I'm going to bid six, eight, 12, or mm -hmm. whatever. And so he would go under, he would go over. And then you're literally bidding for that certificate to start the game. So each player gets to get a chance to bid on stock certificates. Yeah. And then once the all four are quote unquote sold, then the real game begins. So you always start off with some kind of stock certificates, or mm -hmm. maybe not if you didn't choose to buy any. Yeah. Um, but you only get 60 bucks to start, so you got to be careful. Mm hmm. And that score track on the board isn't actually a score track. It's just tracking the stock price. The, the, the income. They call the income yeah. level of the stock. The basically, how much it's going right. to bring to you, how much the dividends are going to be. So that's the first thing. It's just you get some stocks to start the mm -hmm. game off. Then each player on, on their turn, basically, oh, I should probably mention, there's these little boards. Yeah. One for each one. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Baltimore, so you already saw Wabash. Chesapeake. Chesapeake and Ohio. Ohio. Yep. And New York Central. And on this board, you, you put the stock certificates. And then you put any money that was purchasing stocks in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's important. So one of the main things you have to do is get money on the on the um, on the. Yes. What the hell do you call this? Does anybody know? <laughs> the, the the on the train, I guess. Yes. At the company. The company, yes. Oh, the com So the the interesting yeah, dynamic see. about this game is you don't build things. The companies build things. You control yeah. the companies. By virtue buying of having one of the it's, shares. It's, it's the real world. You're yes. buying stock. You're giving money to the company. Mm -hmm. They use that money to build their railroad. Hey, yes. I just made it very easy. Yeah. And if the railroad runs out of money, they can't build things. They can't build so, things. Yeah. So on your turn, and by the way, there's um, each person, obviously each person gets a turn. Mm -hmm. um, there's three things you can do. Number one is you can say, I'm declaring an auction. And then you pick one of the colors. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to auction New York Central. So then you say, okay, what's the current you know, amount for New York Central, and then people bid against each other to get that stock. So that puts money into that particular company. Yes. Okay, so obviously there's no money you can't build. So you gotta do that every once in a while. Yeah. And every time you choose to do one of the three options, in this case auction, you move the meter up one from the start point to the red point, okay? The second thing you can do is build the railroads. Mm -hmm. And those are where these come in, um, the, the different pieces. You can build up to three per turn, but in each, hexagon, it tells you how much that hexagon costs, right? Yeah. So you're trying to go from the, the start point all the way to Chicago. And you'll see, by the way, I didn't mention, picture playthrough below. Yeah. You can see the game being played uh, on the pictures below, and you can kind of see how it all works out on, in real, the real yeah, world. Yeah, it's going to be too tiny to try to show the board. Yeah. Here, so. so each hex will say, for example, this space costs $4, mm -hmm. okay? Or this space costs $2 or $1. So what you have to do is first, do they have enough money in their... You know, the company, the company needs that much money. They have to yeah. have that much money. And if they do, you can take up to three hexes and build them. Mm -hmm. And you put a little, you know, choo-choo on each yep. one of those hexes. And you pay the money from here into the bank. It's like a bank over here on the right. Yeah. Pretend there's a bank. So that's number one. And number two, you can, again, you can hold an auction and get a stock. Mm -hmm. Hopefully somebody gets that stock and puts money in the, in the company. Two, you can then build the trains across the board. Yep. And sometimes when you build a train, you'll also see on the on the hexes, on the picture playthrough, there's like a plus one um, icon in the, in the actual um, cost. That means the income for that particular stock goes up. Yeah. So basically it'll go up on the, there's a little like rail on the bottom, not a rail, but a uh, tracker on the bottom yeah. that kind of shows you, you know, how much that, that stock is that worth at that point. Level. The yeah. income level at that point. Um, and then there's another thing you can do. It's called um, basically not build. I keep calling it build. It's um, development. Yes. There's another um, uh, meter here for the development. And there's a little bag of houses here, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and these houses are put on so only certain spots allow the houses or the developments. Um, in industry, industry areas, you can actually put more than one. We never got to yeah. that point. Um, but they'll also add more income or, or, yeah, to the to different uh, companies. So yes. I can say, okay, I'm going to do, an, you know, once there's a railroad there, you can say, okay, now I'm going to, next turn, I'm going to do a little bit of development. And you put a house on that particular um, hex that has the railroad on it. Yeah. And then you go, okay, yeah, that now increases it to two for the income. Right. And some of the spaces just give money back to the company itself. Yep. So. Yeah. And, and some of them have a dollar sign, which means put $2 into the company. Yeah. So it's like a, an automatic dividend is basically what yeah. it is. So that's, you know, those are three things you can do on your turn. Now, what happens, though, when you get to the red spots, or on two of them at least, right? Right. When, uh, yeah, when you get to two of them, that's, um, what is that Dividend. Called? The Dividend, right. Right. So what happens is as soon as, you know, the, the meters, for better word, get to the red point, mm -hmm. if two of them are at the red point, we have to, you know, finish that turn and say, okay, now we have to do a dividend round. Yeah. The dividend round, basically, you look at the income track, 
And depending on how many stock certificates you get, you get a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. You personally. Yes. And then you can use that again to buy more stock. And so it's the same right. idea. And but it gets it gets divided out proportionally based on how many stocks you have. Right. So if, it's like if, he, if he has one red and I have two red, we get a proportion amount of the yeah. stock uh, dividend. So what's nice is it, it kind of makes you think about, okay, first of all, do I want to spend too much money? Because if you remember at the very beginning of this, I said the way you win is whoever has the most money in themselves. Yeah. If you keep spending your money on stuff... You may not have money in the end. If you're not spending it intelligently, right. yes. <laughs> you got to think. You have to think yeah. about it, right. Um, so, so there's three things you can do again. You can auction off stock certificates. You can build the railroads. You can mm -hmm. um, uh, basically develop the areas with little houses. Mm -hmm. And then, again, every time two of these go up, you get a dividend. Yeah. And then when the dividend comes over, then you put these back to, you know, back to start again. And you go again. You keep going and going yeah. and going. Um, now, there is another point. When somebody reaches Chicago, in this our game, I actually reached Chicago first. Yes, you did. I did. That then opens up the Wabash stock certificates. Mm -hmm. That's not many of those, to be fair. But those, those bring more money onto the table and more yeah. possibilities um, of you getting those. So, I mean, there's all different things that happen during the game, which kind of make it unique. But then the game ends when either three of the, um, well, three of the companies run out of stock. Right, no more stock to buy. Or three of them run out of trains. And by the way, they do have different amounts of trains each. You'll see like yes. black, obviously a lot less than green, yeah. and yellow has the most and whatever. Yeah, they, um, they have more trains based on how much further it is from Chicago is kind of how it works out. Yep, which, which makes sense. Um, so that's the second way you could end the game. Mm -hmm. There's a third way I forgot. Oh, uh, is it the development? Uh, well, no, that's actually the last one. But, oh, okay. Um, oh, uh, Detroit's income's at eight. That's another whole story. There's yeah. different um, industrial areas, Detroit, yeah. Wheeling, and Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. uh, and those also bring income onto the table. You'll see that in the gameplay yeah. uh, below. But they're kind of special. They look like cities, but they're, they're special. If you ever get Detroit to $8, then the game ends, but we never got that far, nope. just to be fair. Um, and then these industry uh, buildings, if you have three or less left to be able to use, mm -hmm. the game would end after, after the next dividend is played. So yeah. this is actually how we stopped our game. We actually ran out of these little houses, which is mm -hmm. very easy to do. There's not that many. And we kept building and, and doing more industry. And yeah. just, we wound up going, oh, we're done. <laughs> we yeah. didn't, still an hour later, but we were like, oh, okay, we're done. We thought for some reason that the trains would go first or something mm -hmm. like that. But it was the um, little buildings that left first. Yeah. And who won the game? She won. I did. I didn't even know I was winning. <laughs> so um, my, my own analysis on that with this game, especially with two players... Jane is, cheated. I, 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 no, Jane didn't cheat. I think you want to start out hot with this game. Like, spend your money, get some stocks. I started out reserved. I only had one share at the beginning. And I had three. And it was... Then it became, for only two players, it became an uphill battle for me to try to get more. Um, even though I thought I was playing more reserved, I had more money... The, that money doesn't help because the companies need the money, not me. <laughs> so, so, so the funny part is, is I didn't even know I was winning. <laughs> just to be fair, I, when I first learned the game, I just kind of go with the flow and try to mm -hmm. make sure I'm doing everything right, and and uh, I wound up winning, which was kind of cool. By like, I had like a hundred something dollars, and you had like yeah. fifty or something. All right, but I wrote it in the notes below. You can yeah. see who won the game. But yeah, it's kind of cool. It's in it if you've got one specific company that you want to keep control of and keep building. It's okay to bid really high on stuff because the money is going to go into that company and then you can spend and, it. And you know what can happen. Now, obviously, if there's more players, this might happen more often. Mm -hmm. But the income track goes up to 50 on the board. Yeah. There's actually, per color, a 50-plus marker. Thinking you could go over 50 you know, plus, and I'm yeah. thinking we never got to that point. We never did. No, we had two get up in the 30s. But, up in the, the yeah. red was in the 30s at one point. But, I mean, I think if you have more players, that's maybe more apt to happen. Yeah. Two players, it was fine. By the yeah. way, I want to mention, this game was really good for two players. At first, I was like, how is this going to work with two players? Because I'm thinking all these different railroads and this yeah. and that. But it really did work very nicely yeah. for two players, I think. Yeah, I think it worked pretty well. So, um, yeah. I, another strategy that didn't come into play in our game was uh, like a change of ownership. Um, where, you know, some of, the, some of the train lines have more shares Mm -hmm. um, so True. it's feasible that somebody could start out with a couple shares and the other person could buy the three and maybe take control of that railroad. Yeah, that's so. important because each share, you're right, every every stock is a little bit different. Like one has two, one has three, one has four. Yeah. So, you know, it just depends which ones you're buying, how much you can get. Yeah. But it really, I like the game a lot. It took me a little while to just make sure we were doing it right 
to be fair, because mm-hmm. there's a lot of things you got to remember. Like when you place a, uh, a train on one of the hexes, oh, did we increase the income? Yeah. Oh, did we forget to change the meter and move it up? I mean, that's some of the things we have to keep reminding ourselves. Yeah. So we, we got into a habit of saying when it's your turn, the first thing you do is you move up the meter, yeah. depending on what you're doing. By the way, which is also really important, you have to move up a meter every single turn. You can't yeah. just say, I pass. Even if you don't have a legitimate move, you have to decide which of the options you would do. Right. So you could hold the auction but not and, and say, I'm not bidding, and then the other person could bid yeah. and get the, the stock. Maybe you don't have enough yeah. money to bid, but you have to do something. Yeah. Uh, because by, by some point or another, you got to get to the dividend phase. So, so yeah, because um, you know there will always be at least one meter that isn't you know point or two meters that aren't maxed out. That's so, right. Yeah. So anyways, we really it's one of those things where the game's in our closet forever. I think we yeah. have this game. I don't know, just have a year on it. Let me see real quick. Um, the year this game like was published, two thousand eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God, this game is twelve years old already. Yeah. Um, well, as far as I know from this published date, anyway. But yeah. this is one of those things. You know, everybody does it. I think we all go out and buy a game, and then we put it in a closet. We're going to do it later, and then we never get to it. Yeah. So this is the time now. We're going to take this time to start playing games that we have not played in our closet. So again, if you've seen these games before, our apologies. Hopefully, you mm-hmm. haven't. Maybe you learned something new. But again, we will always make sure the games are are viable. Yeah, and let us know what you think about the game if you have played it. It's, you yeah, because it has been around a while. Maybe you like yeah. it, maybe we can make some recommendations to it. Yeah. Or you don't, have some house rules or something that, you know. It's don't good. forget to hit the picture play through below. We'd, you know, take a look at that and kind of see how it's played through if you're curious. Also, please, 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 please subscribe to us on YouTube. We'd mm-hmm. love you to do that. We're trying to really, we want to keep the show going. We really, really do. But mm-hmm. we need you to help us by either subscribing on YouTube, telling your friends. Um, you know, again, this doesn't cost us that much to do, but it does take time and, and effort. Yeah. And if nobody's watching, it's like, why are we doing this? Uh, plus, we do we do do contests every single month, so we do have yes. to you know have the ability to do that, um, which we like to do. Uh, don't forget if you haven't entered the contest, uh, May third, I think it is, whatever the first Sunday of May, we're going to be picking the winners from last month, uh, and then we'll be putting the new contest up. Yep. So if you're new to us, welcome. You know, we got a lot of new likes on Facebook, so we appreciate that. Um, come visit us here and also visit us online. And oh, by the way, we're doing TikTok now in case you don't remember. <laughs> yes, we they're are. really stupid. They're not, they're not even that good. Um, but we're just having some fun with turtle and, uh, we're not doing much game stuff on there yet. Maybe we might be thinking about how to do it, but, um, anyway, mm-hmm. look at that if you feel like, or Instagram or we're doing all those things. Yeah. So nobody looks at Twitter anymore. Yeah, not really. Every time I look at it, nobody's looked at our stuff. I'm like, yeah. I'm put my Twitter on. <laughs> all right, guys, have a great rest of your week. Uh, Stay well, and we'll see you hopefully next Sunday.